Now to this week's special report, and it's all about dirt. Not just any dirt, though, the type that could unlock Northern Australia's potential as an agricultural powerhouse. Scientists are currently on the hunt to find it. They've identified 70 crops that could grow in the north and 16 million hectares of land that is suitable for agriculture. But here's the problem. There's only enough water to sustain one and a half million hectares. So finding the best land and the most fertile soil is the key to making the most of it. Rural and regional reporter Dominic Schwartz joined their quest. From the baking lands of the outback to the ovens of Brisbane's Eco Sciences precinct, unlocking the secrets of Northern Australia's soil is a hot and dirty business. It's a $15 million undertaking and CSIRO field coordinator Seanad Phillip is loving every minute of it. For this project, we've collected approximately 4,000 samples, and they're all a range of colours. These red ones, highly sought after, highly productive, very good for horticultural development. This one here, a bit sad about it, it's leached. It's a pale colour and it shows that nutrients have been stripped out of it, probably in a higher rainfall area. CSIRO has identified 16 million hectares of northern Australia that's suitable for irrigating 70 different crops, among them cotton, corn, mangoes and Asian greens. But scientists have found only enough water to support a fraction of that area. So they're actually overlaying you know, the sweet spots where you can find soil that's suitable and water that's not only available but reliable is part of the key. Teams of scientists have clambered across water catchments in Queensland, the Northern Territory and Western Australia, taking soil samples from more than 500 previously untested sites. That's an area the size of the UK and we're mapping that in detail in a period of about two and a half years. So it's a big project. We really want to get a representative sample of the aquifer. We've also been monitoring the chemistry Hydrologists have also been busy mapping the region's surface and underground water. We've got enormous plans to develop northern Australia. The government has earmarked more than $5 billion for infrastructure and water development across the top end. Our future opportunities in agriculture, our future opportunities uh, to develop our water resources do predominantly lie in the north and that's why we're funding the CSI Road to do this work. Back in the lab, work is underway to determine which soils will provide the richest rewards. After being ground and oven dried, the samples are tested for their nutrients and their ability to hold water. We test here carbon and nitrogen uh, contents in the soil and plants. The, the nitrogen is essential for the vegetative growth of the plant, as the carbon is very uh, essential for the soil health like organic material. If we can, over time, irrigate 1.5 uh, million hectares in the north, uh, that would almost double the amount of land we have under irrigation today. Uh, and of course, that would help us achieve our goals to kind of double our agricultural agriculture over time. Well, it's vitally important. Mining's great, but it's boom and bust, as we always know. But agriculture is this constant flow of wealth that comes back in because people need to be sustained by protein, by carbohydrate. <coughs> Whether Australia can hit pay dirt in the north should be clearer by mid-2018, when the CSIRO will report its findings. Dominic Schwartz, ABC News, Brisbane.